Welcome back to Walnut Springs. My name is Mike, and today I wanna to show you how to remove and install a star nut on your fork. Let's get to it. So the tools you'll need to remove or install a star nut on your fork are a hammer of some sort. I prefer like a rubber mallet, a large screwdriver to help with the removal of the star nut, a brand new star nut, and then a star nut installer tool. So today I wanna to go ahead and install a brand new star nut on my daughter's 7300 Trek. Uh, whenever I built this up for her, the star nut that was in this one didn't seem to be properly installed. I ordered up some new star nuts and I'm ready to install them. So the first thing first is you need to loosen up the top cap and then the stem bolts to get this whole assembly off so you can get access to the star nut. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, as you can see, down inside of the fork tube is going to be that star nut. This one just did not seem to be installed properly. It looks to be a little bit crooked. It's pretty rusted and old. So I'm going to pop that one out of there and then install the new one. So let me show you how to get these things out of your fork. That way you can put a new one in. Okay, now that we have fully removed the fork, we can go ahead and uninstall the star nut so we can get a brand new one put in place. It's important that you remove the fork from your bike during this process. Because you're gonna be putting a lot of force on this whenever you're hitting it, you don't wanna have any extra pressure on the frame of your bike or your headset. Okay, so now we can go ahead and uninstall it. The easiest way is to just find a piece of pipe or a big screwdriver that you can hammer all the way through here. I'm sure that there's other ways that you can do this, but we're not really concerned about the integrity of the star nut at the end of this process because this is not gonna be reusable. We're just gonna throw it away and we'll install a brand new one. So I just simply just place the screwdriver in the middle of the star nut and then we just hit away until it gets all the way down to the bottom. And there we go, the star nut is completely removed and we're ready to install a new one. As you can see, it gets pretty damaged whenever you're removing it. So these are not going to be reusable and a new one will need to be put in its place. So whenever installing a star nut, you can do it without a star nut installer tool, but I have done it several times without it. And the last time that I tried to do that, I went through three star nuts and I said, I'll never do that again and I just bought this particular off-brand one off of Amazon, and I have not regretted it. I don't use this tool a lot, but whenever I have it, I'm thankful that I do. So what you'll do, there's two components to this. This particular one, we're going to thread the star nut on. Whenever you go to thread on the star nut, make sure you do it in the correct orientation. This needs to be facing up. This needs to be facing down towards the fork. So it's going to basically push itself in and lock in place, not allowing it to be pulled back up. So we'll take our little tool here that has a threaded end and we're going to make sure that we thread this in the proper direction. It will look like this whenever you have it installed correctly on the tool. We're gonna line this up with the top of the fork and then this portion is gonna slide over the tool and the fork tube. As you can see, one end isn't as wide as the other, and about three quarters of the way down, there is a lip inside there. That's gonna prevent us from over installing the star nut. So we'll just take this, slide it over the star nut tool, and then slide it down onto the fork, and it should pop up just a little bit above the installer tool. The little part that we're gonna hammer is gonna be right here. Now that you've got that secured, just hold it in place tight and then just give it a good hit and you'll feel it start to kind of slide down in. Just keep hitting it. This portion of the tool will continue to go down every time you hit this until it can't any further. And you'll know that it's fully installed whenever it gets flush with it and the outer tool doesn't slide down anymore, just like this. 
and that's what you want it to look like. Now the next thing you're gonna do is just simply slide this little sleeve off of there, set that aside, and then this will just unscrew. And there you go. The star nut is successfully installed. You know that it's perfectly straight because you used a tool to do it. And then you're ready to install this fork back on the bike so you can get out and ride. That's how you remove a star nut and install one using the star nut installing tool. If you guys like this video or you found it helpful, go ahead and click that like button and leave me a comment below letting me know if this video helped you out. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and I greatly appreciate that. And if you see a tool in any of my videos that you are like, I need that tool to do this job, I'm gonna put the links below in the description. If you click on those links and you use them and you purchase something from them, it does come back and help out the channel. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.